All right, guys, my name's Hugh James. I'm a science communicator, and I love looking at the science of everyday things. There's nothing more everyday than the sun. Now, the sun produces quite a lot of energy. In one second, it produces around 500,000 years worth of energy at the current needs of humankind. And in one hour, it uses and loses 15 billion metric tons of energy. In that hour, it gives us enough energy around the Earth than we would use in a whole year. So we can use it for different things. Currently we use it to see stuff with, we do that. Uh, we can use it to bathe in as well, we do that too. But how about cooking stuff with the energy that comes from the sun? What you'll need for this demo is a pizza box, any kind of shallow box will do, some black paper, some scissors, tin foil, cling film, some glue, some digestive biscuits, a little bit of chocolate spread and some marshmallows as well. And a G2V star, but any kind of star will actually do. I actually built one of these earlier on with our live experiments pizza boxes. And all I've done is I've cut out part of the top to make a flap that, that comes up and covered that with foil. And that's what's gonna reflect our sunlight or in here, our spotlights straight down and into our solar oven. So that's got a nice reflective surface on there. I've taped the back of that so it stays there nice. And inside, what I've done is put a layer of the tin foil and then some black paper on top of that. And the black paper is gonna absorb and keep that heat in the oven for a bit longer. We've also got some cling film just on the top to reflect any heat back into the box. So it is a proper oven. And we're gonna pop some, uh, some schmoes inside here to start cooking. Uh, you can make them any way you like. If you're American, you'll definitely know how to make them. Uh, but we're gonna use some digestive biscuits, a little bit of chocolate spread on there, and that'll melt nicely inside our solar oven. And you can also fit your marshmallow lovely on top there. Looks appetizing already. We'll have another layer of chocolate spread. So that'll go inside our solar oven, just by there, so they can all start melting away. And that solar oven then will go in front of our spotlight with the rays reflecting in there uh, to cook away. So while that's cooking away in there, let's have another look at a way we can use the sun's light or sun's energy to heat food up. Parabolas are a shape that keep cropping up in our everyday world. Whether it's the orbit of some of the things that go around the sun or whether it's the bottom of your Coke can or even satellite dishes. Is something that come up again and again. And these dishes are shaped like parabolas and are really good at focusing energy into a single point, the point around here. And these now are being used on a bigger scale around the world to actually cook food with, using the energy from the sun. So we've actually got a, a larger one here, and with a bit of smoke and lasers, we should be able to see how the angles of this parabolic mirror are designed to push all that energy into one single point. So if I have the lights down and somebody give me a hand with the smoke, and we can get a tight up on where this laser goes. It'll shine down into the mirror itself and then come back up nearly always into the same point. You should be able to see that even though the laser goes in at different points, it always comes back to the center at different points. And that's the purpose of a parabolic mirror and the purpose of these satellite dishes. All over the world now, they're using these to cook they dinner with solar cookers because the amount of energy that could be collected using a parabolic mirror. But also these solar ovens are being used as well. If we just check on our, on our schmoes, beautiful. Look at that, nice and melted. In fact, a bit of a bite of that. You hear quite nice actually. So here we go, your own solar oven or your own solar cooker right in your own home. When you finish building your solar oven, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? Where's more live experiments and science facts from around the world every day.